Hello everyone, this is a follow-up to the installation guide. Uh, there's been a few comments talking about uh, some troubleshooting problems they've been having. So this is warranted a troubleshooting video on the just general mod itself. So let's start off with one of the basic ones. So if you got to choose the version of the mod. So if you're playing on 0 0.2 for an example, it is for version 7.1 or 1.7.1. So what you need to do it since we're at patch 1.7.2, you have to click on betas. So go to your Steam, right click on the game, click on properties, click on betas, and select the version you want to play on. So base is 1.7.2, and you just click on 1.7.1, or, or in the future, whatever the mod version requires. That is problem one that you can run into. The second problem is, is when you download your folders, we use Harmony as an example. You have your TOR or your Harmony. For our TOR users, or like the, the ones you have the zip file in TOR, you want to right click on your zip file, click on properties and click on unblock. When you are running the mod, it will give you a pre-native problem saying it has not been initialized or authorized because it is unable to read the file because it is blocked. So by clicking on the zip file properties unblock, then proceeding to install it in the file will fix that problem. Secondly, it's just a standard thing, putting incompatible mods. So for those, you cannot run the old realms mod and say, for example, Realm of Thrones. You have to they overwrite the same files or replace the same files or require different mods. So we install the mod. Secondly, these are to those who did not fully pay attention to what happens when you play the game. It crashes or has 20 to 30 minute load times when getting into fights. It's shader cache. So what shader cache does, as I explained this before, it preloads shader cache. It basically pre-renders all the shades, the shaders, all the different directions for all the models, all the scenes, all the battlefields and such. So when you log when you not log in, when you click at a game, that's even a custom battle. It doesn't take you 15, 20 minutes to load up those shaders for that scene, because you already pre-rendered them. This allows you for a faster load time and a smoother experience, which may, cause, which may cause crashes. So once again, as a recap, you have the make sure you're on the correct Steam version of 1.7.1 or whatever the new updates have through the betas tab, click on properties. Secondly, when you download your mod in the zip file before you extract or even when you extract it, make sure when you right click on the files of TOR Armory, click on unblock. Or you click unblock or the overall file itself and click on unblock. Because when you extract it, all the files should be unblocked overall rather than you manually doing it. So for those who have the problem with the unblocking saying pre-native is, un is unable to initialize, well, the moment you unblock this file, it will work. But I will say that for Armory, Environment, and Core. So you must unblock it for each of these, or once again, unblock the original zip file. And lastly, for those who are loading, having long loading times, just make sure you build that shader cache. You only need to do it once, I believe. If you, ha if you still have problems, reinstall everything and throw out the cache and then run it again. Uh, this video will be updated or pin will pin in the comments below with more troubleshooting fixes for the mod for 0.4 two of the Warhammer mod, the old realm for Banner Lord. Quick video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. See you later and enjoy.